A small snail can suddenly move super fast due to an accident. Now, he wants to compete in the Indianapolis 500 and beat the best racers. Today, we will recap the beloved story of the 2012 movie Turbo. The movie begins with a cute snail named Turbo, who is fascinated by a car race on TV while in an old farm shed. He develops a passion for racing and sets up a miniature track to train daily, dreaming of winning a high-speed race. However, his elder brother Chet disapproves of his hobby and advises him to drop the impossible dream as snails are too slow to compete in any sport. Despite this, Turbo remains passionate about his goal and actively trains towards it. One sunny afternoon, while the two brothers and their snail friends are out in a nearby garden to harvest some fruits, a tomato falls from his chute and lands in an open field. As a man approaches with his lawnmower, all the snails except Turbo choose to abandon the fallen fruit. Turbo, determined to actualize his racing dreams, goes after the tomato. However, he is seconds away from being crushed by the lawnmower when Chet intervenes at the last minute and blasts Turbo away from danger with a water hose. Chet then scolds Turbo for recklessly risking his life and asks him to give up on his irrational dreams. Feeling disheartened, Turbo leaves the farm and wanders through the city to clear his head. He finally reaches a road pavement and watches speeding cars navigating through traffic. Later on, a trailer howling wind passes Turbo and propels him into the path of an oncoming track. Terrified, Turbo quickly retreats into his shell as speeding highway cars run him over, sending him tumbling onto a secluded road. After several stumbles, Turbo finally crashes into an unknown object which turns out to be a sports car. However, before the snail can comprehend the recent events, the car's engine suddenly roars to life, and the driver speeds off in a race. Overwhelmed by the car's speed, Turbo is sucked into the vehicle's inner chambers and exposed to nitrous oxide, a powerful chemical that increases speed. Immersed in this liquid, the nitrous oxide enters Turbo's body and circulates through his system, charging his heart to go into overdrive. Once this happens, Turbo finds a way out of the car and is launched onto the streets, causing him to pass out. The following day, Turbo wakes up and eventually returns to the farm, where he reunites with his chat. Suddenly, this reunion is short-lived as a crow abruptly appears and snatches chat, making its way to the sky. Seeing his friend in danger, Turbo chases after the bird thanks to the powerful booster in the system. Turbo surprisingly goes at an unprecedented speed. With this newfound super speed, Turbo swiftly catches up to the crow and arrives right as the nest of birds tries to eat him. The ultra-fast snail pushes its elder brother out of the way and takes his place. As the hungry crow swallows him, Turbo attacks the crow from the inside, prompting it to spit him out as the nest of birds disperses in fear. Now safe from avian predators, the two snail brothers fully reunite as they try to figure out their way home. Unfortunately, right before they can start their journey, the two snails, Turbo and Shed, are captured by a taco truck driver named Tito. He takes them to a shady-looking store in a desert location, making the snails scared and fearful that they will be slaughtered. However, the store turns out to be a betting ring for snail racing. Turbo and Shed are placed in the starting line alongside other snails. The race starts off slowly, with most snails inching their way to the finish line. However, Turbo surprises everyone by charging up and completing the race in a split second. Tito is astonished by Turbo's super speed and decides to adopt him as a pet. The next day, Tito, whose business has been in decline, tries to garner publicity with Turbo's super speed by setting up a poster in a shopping plaza as an ad for snail racing. However, the plan doesn't work as expected, and Tito talks about his failed plan with Turbo. Moments later, Turbo sees an ad for the Indy 500, a national car racing tournament, and gets an idea. Turbo uses a super speed to direct Tito's attention to the race, and Tito ultimately decides to check Turbo into the race to generate more publicity for his business. However, raising the tournament's registration fee of $20,000 proves to be a Herculean task for the small business owner. Despite this, Tito meets his brother and business co-owner Angelo, and proposes that they invest their life savings in sponsoring Turbo believing it will generate tons of publicity. Angelo is skeptical about the idea of registering a snail in a racing competition and immediately rejects the plan, much to Tito's disappointment. However, Tito remains undeterred and seeks financial support from other business owners in the plaza the following day. 
Tito presents a detailed business plan to his fellow entrepreneurs, but like Angelo, they ignore his idea and refuse to invest in the outlandish plan. Meanwhile, the race snails that previously competed against Turbo hear about the Indy 500 plan and unanimously decide to help send him there. Together, these snails join forces and manage to divert a bus full of people to the deserted plaza. When the bus arrives, Turbo uses his super speed to create a light show on Tito's poster, drawing the passengers' attention to it. Seeing the billboard, the visitors decide to remain in the plaza and eagerly watch Turbo race. In doing so, the passengers patronize the plaza store owners, generating the largest traffic the business people have seen in years. After the successful sales spike, the initially skeptical entrepreneur has a change of heart and gives Tito the cash he needs to enter the race. With the funding, Tito and Turbo, accompanied by the snails and store owners, head for the Indy 500 and try to sign up for the race. However, the show's organizers find Tito's application to register a snail ridiculous and immediately reject it. Undaunted, Turbo doesn't give up and, with the help of his snail friends, bypasses security to make it onto the track. Once there, the speedy snail swiftly circles the track in seconds as the spectators stare in awe. Among them is an astonished young boy who records Turbo speeding through the racetrack and posts a video on the internet. The video of a snail moving at an incredible speed goes viral, causing a stir among many people. The owner of the Indy 500, urged by the curious public, reluctantly allows Turbo, the snail in the video, to race. The following day, thousands of fans gather at the stadium for the prestigious race, with defending champion Gagne being a fan favorite. Turbo, who has never competed before, feels nervous and watches the spectators anxiously as the race begins. He quickly falls behind as the other racing cars overwhelm him. With his small size, Turbo struggles to occupy a specific space and dodges the cars to avoid being crushed. On the 30th lap, Turbo takes a break, and his friends from France quickly fix him up and provide him with a pep talk. Feeling refreshed and motivated, Turbo re-enters the race, using his small size to his advantage. He overtakes the speeding cars by going underneath them and sliding to the side walls to bypass the other drivers. The pumped up crowd cheers him on as he eventually makes it into the top 10. After a few minutes of racing, Turbo manages to secure the second position as he tries to overtake Kanye for the lead spot. However, the narcissistic champion resorts to pushing Turbo into a sharp turn littered with marbles, causing the snail to crash into a wall and break its shell. Despite being injured, Turbo makes it to the race station and meets Tito and his other friends who express concern for his wounds. Tito contemplates pulling Turbo out of the competition, but the determined snail refuses to give up and speeds off, accelerating at an unprecedented speed to regain his former position of second place. As Turbo goes head-to-head -head with the defending champion, Gagne tries to take him out by pushing him into a corner. However, Turbo predicts Gagne's move and outmaneuvers him by gliding through the track's walls. In the last lap, Turbo blasts off at top speed, maintaining his lead while Gagne struggles to catch up. Gagne attempts a risky move to overtake Turbo at the track corner, but it backfires as the marbles puncture his tires, causing him to crash and take out all the other racers. The crash leaves Turbo severely injured with a massive hole in his shell that ultimately causes him to lose his powers. Devastated by the accident and with only a few meters left in the race, Turbo loses all hope and silently hides in his shell, as his spectators watch in disappointment. The other snails notice that Turbo is feeling down, so they give him a motivational speech to boost his spirits. Turbo regains his confidence and rejoins the race, slowly crawling his way towards the finish line as the crowd cheers him on. However, just as he is about to complete the race, his opponent Gagne recovers his car and tries to kill Turbo by stomping on him. Turbo narrowly avoids the attack by retreating into his shell and manages to roll across the finish line just ahead of Gagne, winning the race to the thunderous applause of the crowd. After the race, there is a big celebration event and Turbo is crowned as the Indy 500 champion. His win attracts many customers to the shopping plaza, and the movie ends with Turbo and his friends organizing one last race as they speed towards the finish line. And that's a wrap on our recap of the hit movie Turbo. From his humble beginnings as a snail to his epic journey at the Indy 500, Turbo proved that even the smallest creatures can achieve their dreams with hard work and determination. But speaking of epic journeys, have you seen Rise of the Guardians? This action-packed film takes us on a thrilling adventure as Jack Frost and the Guardians battle the evil pitch to save the children of the world. 
So, if you are in the mood for some more animated excitement, be sure to click this video and I'll see you there.